It's Easter Sunday. Hmm. And what's his Easter Sunday more than talking shit about toys? It should be Christmas, but it's Easter Sunday. Who cares? I don't We've had an Easter or half an Easter egg each. Hmm. So we're in the Easter spirit. Hmm. And toys. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Where do we start? So we spoke earlier about when we were younger, how our parents and people were bought us. I got the anything that was ten pounds or below transformer. I was allowed. I never owned anything above a ten pound transformer. And it, you had Optimus Prime. Yeah. No, that's, that's the ironic thing. <laughs> Optimus Prime was my first transformer. I, I I love trucks and stuff. I mean, I I love things like Convoy as a kid and films yeah. like that. Anything a Breaker Breaker with Chuck Norris, which you probably no one's ever heard Thank of. God, uh, things like that. And I loved sort of trucks, I and I loved my film. muscle cars, and sort of Dukes of Hazard stuff, and smoking the rain, all that stuff. Sort of as a kid, so the fact that there was this bloody great um, BJ and the Bear looking <laughs> um, yeah. truck Probably that transformed that. into a robot and a little yeah. battle base was like, oh yeah. Mm. And I had that. I didn't have any other ones because I could not stand the little transformers, the bumblebees. And I the never sea had sprays bumblebee. and stuff. I had sea sprays. Because I thought the quality was fucking mm. awful. Everyone at my school had Bumblebee. And yeah. I mean everyone, even the girls. Yeah. I just I never liked Bumblebee. Mm. I never ever liked oh, Bumblebee. Oh, I like Bumblebee. But it was like it looked like shit. You turned it into a little Volkswagen Beetle and it was all mm. deformed and churro cued and stuff. And I didn't like it. Yeah. I, I, I went for the Robo Machines. The Robo Machines were mm. a lot cheaper. Yeah. The rubber machines were way, way cheaper, and they were die-cast, and they looked really, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I bought, you know, pocket money. I mean, when you go like a pound a week, you know, you'd get like one... You, you normally get two, or whatever, mm. every three weeks or something, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I basically got... I never really had many Transformers myself. I was never... You know, I never got the big Transformers. I was lucky to get some of the big mask toys and then mm. maybe the big um, Star Wars yeah. toys. They were Christmas yeah, presents. Yeah. But Transformers, I always got bits. So because I always had like a future plan for Transformers. So I basically got Bruticus over time. I got one figure a week. And when it comes to buying, oh my God, what's the, the long part, the biggest part of Bruticus? You're on about Onslaught. Menace. Oh, Onslaught, yeah, yeah, yeah. Onslaught. yeah, 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 yeah. Onslaught. When it comes to Onslaught, he was yeah. nine ninety nine, mm. And um, it was just like, it was two more, it was a couple of pounds, I remember, my, more, more than my mum would let me have. And I was yeah. in there, and I was like, ah. Oh. Uh, and I ended up agreeing to wash my dad's car and cut the grass within the space of about two hours. Of get, I think, I'm sure I've done it. But I got home, done it, and I got back, and he was still on the shelf. And the guy that worked in, wherever the shop was called, I can never remember, the corner shop. Um, carousel. Yeah. And then it became place. He even put it by for me. Yeah. I love that guy. He was mm. awesome. And then later on, I did exactly the same thing when it comes to actually getting... Um, the master head of Menace, or what was his name? Um, the Motor Master. Motor Master. And yeah, when I, when I finished them two combiners, I, I was just like, ah, the two, they're on the same side, but they're fighting, <laughs> <laughs> whether they like it or not. And um, yeah, I just don't ever remember actually really having any Autobots. I, mm. I can't think of having any. I had a few. I mean, it took, it, it was a long time before I did, but yeah. um, I, I, I did have a couple. I wanted Prowl. I really, really wanted Prowl, but he was like one of the Series 1 ones, mm. and they were on Series 2 at that point, yeah. and I couldn't get him. I got Smokescreen instead. Same mm. car, but not a police car. He was like a race car, um, and I Who wanted that, but I got Hound. I got Badget. That was the worst Transformer ever. Yes. I'm just going to use the windscreen as a head. Yeah, it was rubbish. <laughs> Compared to the TV version, it was awful. Yeah. And Ironhide as well. Ironhide <laughs> they were dreadful. Same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I always liked the um, uh, fire engine. Oh, what was his name? Inferno. Inferno. He was really cool. Yeah. He was another one that our friend Justin, mm -hmm. I think he had nearly all of them, didn't yeah. he? He pretty much had everything. So you, I'd bring my, my combiners down and play with his one. Yeah, you play with them. Uh, yeah, well, um, Sunstreak. I remember someone in my class having Sunstreak. Someone actually having Jazz. Mm. I remember Jazz being like the world's worst Transformer to transform because he was just so very fragile. They, they, they were all like that. Fragile. To be yeah. honest, I think all the Autobots, all the diecast mm. Autobots were like that. Megatron. <laughs> yeah. Now that was a bastard to transform. That's a fragile. Thing yeah. Oh, because well, it's one part where you just click it around yeah. and it just feels like it's going to snap yeah, every it does. time. It does. It does. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, mean, I had some really good memories with the toys, but I only had very few Transformers, and I was lucky enough to have friends. Mm -hmm. So my mate Mark, my mate Mark had Soundwave. He got mm -hmm. Soundwave for Christmas, and then like, like a couple of weeks after, it was his birthday in March, he then got Galvatron. So there's me like, like oh yeah, I'm coming round this weekend, whether you like it or not, I'll bring my combiners with me. <laughs> I had, I had yeah. a lot of Transformers, but that yeah. was like later. Yeah. Um, I was like, you know, older. I mean, oh, I, was, right. I was like sort of... 13, you know, yeah. and ah, a cool kid. I, I got no, quite a nerdy kid, <laughs> but I, I got like I, mean, I got Menasaur, but I, I literally bought the pack with all, all of, them. of Menasaur yeah. for 15 quid, yeah. you know, in, yeah. in, um, play, in playtime. Mm. So, um, yeah. Let's go back to seeing Transformers at boot fairs for 10 p and 50 p. I'm not yeah. paying that. Yeah. I mean, you could buy buckets of them. Yeah. You know, a literal so. bucket full of them. They'd yeah. be like 20 p each. Would that be complete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All the collectors are crying now. Uh, yeah. I, I always had a favourite Transformer. I always wanted um, Starscream. Yeah. Uh, never had him. The him. biggest problem him I, now, of course. The biggest problem I had with those is that they had no articulation at all. <laughs> the only thing you could do is like a little bit of the arms. Just, just push their chest in so the arms would come around. You just move a little bit of the arms yeah. and, and that's it. And, and I, that's, that's always the thing I didn't like but about they looked cool in the jet mode. <laughs> yeah, they did. They really and you did. had like dirge, you had like all me, of the jets. They looked, <laughs> they looked cool looked in cool. the robot mode as well. Mm. I remember not actually having those, instead using the... Uh, Gliders that come in shreddies. Oh, they had the cardboard hell. ones oh my God, of yeah. like Sk of, of um, Skywarp and Starscream and Thundercracker and I and Shit. Thrust and yeah. Dirge and Ramjet. I had all of them. And and I had those and I used those with my toys. Yeah. As like the characters when I was yeah. like sort of eight or nine or whatever yeah. it was. So uh, that so. was similar. But mine were always Mask versus Transformers versus. <laughs> I, see, I, I, was, I said this before that I, I never liked that because yeah. I never combined things that were different scales. Mm. They had to be the same scale for me to play with them. Yeah. Um, I, I couldn't have, like you say, Mask versus G.I. Joe or, <laughs> or something like that. Because the scale's yeah. wrong, mm. you know? <clears throat> and so I didn't like it, you know? It's just, I've always been the same. I, I, even when I do shelves and stuff now, I don't like things being different scales. I like them to be the same scale. Um, yeah. Revel, <laughs> you suck. Revel <laughs> always make things the same size and not the same scale. Um, yeah. And it really, really irritates me. Yeah. Um, massively. I've, I've seen Tony build many kits over the years. Now he got this one kit it was last year. Was that one from Germany? Wasn't it the tank or something like that over there? The one bizarre one. To oh, build. the Russian one. Oh my God! I've, you've never seen a kit like this. He showed it to me, and I was just like. What? <laughs> it had like no instruct. Oh, it had instructions, but they were yeah. terrible. Yeah. And it's a it's a Zvezda kit. It's a Russian company. Yeah. And the, the there was like flash all over everything. All the bits were stuck together with bits of plastic and other words. Nothing. And you had to right. cut it off. <laughs> Nothing yeah. fitted properly. And it was a fucking nightmare. I was trying to do like a Metal Gear or a Dialava yeah. thing, and. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. Mm. I think it's not finished though, is it? Mm, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I just remember him seeing that kit. Yeah. But yes, anyway. Yeah. I mean, I had some really bizarre toys. It's like I said in the past. It's, I had the action man. I had an action man for two or three years before you realised you could move his eyes and head. Eagle eyes. I never knew that. I was like, <coughs> really strange. I remember the exact moment. <coughs> I remember the exact moment I found it. I was in the bath. I was a kid. He was a submarine action man, he wasn't, mm. but you know, he was a scuba action man. And I was like, what's that in the back of his head? Like, oh, it's broken. I moved it. And I like, his eyes are... <gasps> wow! And that was awesome. Eagle Eyes and Kung Fu Brit. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the thing, I started with like action man. That was like yeah. the very first, first toy that I had, or toy mm. series that I had. Yeah. And, um,. And it's also, you know, like, the next thing I'm going to, is actually the reason I did this Boba Fett that I was talking about, was I my very first Star Wars figure was Boba Fett. It was the 12-inch Boba Fett. And that was really expensive back then. It was really expensive. Mm. I could have bought uh, the... I was looking at, like, can you remember the Imperial Troop Transporter? It was like a little tanky thing. And it's in Star Wars Episode Four. Yeah. And it kind of... 
It's, it's it's like a grey thing and it kind of opens up and you can put lots of stormtroopers in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was looking at that. It's almost like a carry case. Yeah, yeah, it does kind of work like a carry yeah. case. Mm. And you, I was going to get like four stormtroopers, whatever it is, and that for the same price as this Boba Fett. Yeah. But I got Boba Fett and he hunted Action Man for a year or two. He, he was <laughs> um, did you get him? I never, I never did get any more 12 inch action, uh, action so Star Wars ones. Yeah. But um, I, I got the sort of three and three quarter ones. But. Mm. I got frustrated with the three and three quarter Star Wars figures because you couldn't get the ones you wanted. If you went, <laughs> if you went down to the shops, all they ever had was Princess Leia and Lando Tando fucking Calrissian, yeah. and, and lots of them because mm. they come in boxes. They couldn't, they couldn't order individual figures. Yeah. They come in boxes. And my mum and dad used to shop in Dover, and I think it was a Tesco or something near the main area yeah, of Dover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the end shelf, every, before you go in, the first thing you could see was the end shelf, which is where all the Star Wars was. You'd have the, the top two rows of like a couple of Ewoks, and then the bottom five rows being Lando Calrissian. <laughs> um, so the first thing was always, right, you took look, look behind all the Landos to find one. I mean, I was lucky enough to have quite, quite a few figures. And I go, quickly going back to Transformers, is I do remember I did have one priority Transformer. And it, it was pretty much the same year I was going through some Star Wars mm. figures. I decided to pick um, Stegosaurus, which is Snarl, isn't it? Snarl. Snarl. Yeah. And I was so happy with this because I said to my mum, it's the day before my birthday, so I said, I'd like to get it for my birthday. Didn't you know, think nothing of it. And then I like, looked for Star Wars, blah, 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 went home. And I got it the next day. But at the same time, I broke my freaking heart the next day. Because it was the world's crappiest, shittest design because the head was so brittle. I transformed it three or four times and I pulled the head apart and snap. Hmm. N nearly all my early Transformers broke. Nearly hmm. all my early Transformers broke. Yeah. Um, they, they really weren't great. I mean, my no. GoBots lasted forever. Um, yeah. Uh, the Transformers... Uh, I, I always go back to the horrible when I was a teenager and mum saying, oh, you're going on holiday soon. Mm. Why don't you sell your toys? Because you get such spending, extra, spend, funding? extra spending money on holiday. <laughs> I sold all my transfer, Star Wars figures for like a tenner. I sold the Attack for like a pound. You know, I made a hundred and odd pound. I mean, I was the happiest person ever. What a twat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously you never, you wasn't to know the future, but if we had, I'm sure we'd uh, somehow find a way to store all of our stuff yeah, we had yeah. when we was a kid. But yeah, I, mean, I, I did get a few GoBots. Um, I had the motorcycle. I always wanted uh, the, mo the red and blue white motorcycle, what was he called? No, he put his arms together and he put the wheel in the front. Red Go? <sighs> GoBot. GoBot? Oh, Cycle. Yeah, he used Cycle. Yeah. Cycle. And I always wanted the leader one, but I never got leader one. Uh, I had the submarine. Are you are you referring to the big ones or the small? Ones? No, the small ones. Oh yeah, the yeah, smaller yeah, ones. Yeah. yeah. And I always and I had the submarine. Uh, I think I might have had one or two. Oh, I had the Blackbird as well. Yeah. Yeah. Then those were the only GoBots I had. I had fun with the GoBots. Yeah. Oh no no no! I've got to remember one new Christmas present was the big base. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. And the was, center. This was back in the day when it used to snow at Christmas, and so there's me, uh, Boxing Day in the back garden, back garden full of snow. Mm. Me with my thing riding around, like making snow bases mm. and all that, getting all soaking wet and everything mm. like that. But I was a kind of a smart kid. I knew I was going to play with the snow, so I didn't put the freaking stickers on. Mm. <laughs> Once I played with it in the snow and it dried out, yeah. I put the stickers on afterwards. Um, yeah, it was really cool. I just remember taking the top off because you could put a coin in and click it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. It's a battery it. hatch. Yeah, hatch. yeah. And ah, uh, it was your good old days. Go bots. Did you have many go bots? I had loads. Because they were like a pound each, so I would save a pocket money up and I'd go and buy them. You know. Wasn't there like the big cars as well with uh, the yeah. top parts yeah, of yeah. cars that were heads? Yeah. I vaguely yeah. remember them as yeah. well, they were pretty cool. They're, they're, they're the larger size ones, but yeah, yeah it's. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, they were just so. Yeah, I, I wish to read the comic in Eagle. They had the, the comic in Eagle as well, which was really good. Challenge of the Go Bots, the cartoon, was fucking dreadful. And it didn't come out until actually a couple of years after I stopped collecting them, uh, in I all honesty. It was on cable, weren't it? The cable I think it was. I saw one episode and I was like, yeah. Yeah. I like it, it, Everyone it, it sees GoBots as crappy Transformers, don't they? Yeah, but I like yeah. my GoBots. I, 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 like I, I, I thought the GoBots, yeah, if you were buying the cheap GoBots compared yeah. to the cheap Transformers, yeah. they pissed all over the cheap Transformers. Yeah. The cheap Transformers were garbage in comparison. Mm. Um, <laughs> I, I just really enjoyed... Um, the, the GoBots, you know. I did do the GoBots versus the Transformers. Mm. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did that. That's mm. right. But, uh, but I, actually had the, I actually had them as like Transformers. Half the time, yeah. half the time you could use them as that, you know. It's, uh, 
I think I, I had the little penny races as well. You put Try a few cars, back. yeah. Then I had the big thing, you just had the big battery pack, you plug it in the back, you charge it, then you'd let it go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had the few He Man. Well, the he one of the He Man's I always wanted was the. You one missed that, that burning key cars and miss races. No, I had them. <laughs> I had the one that was like a helicopter as well. Yeah, yeah. I used to put yeah. it. Oh my god. He fires back memories to me that I, I've forgotten. It's, it's, oh my god. They were awesome. But the little ones, especially the ones you just go, and you'd like cut your wrist or something like that. Yeah, 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 really yeah. cool because they'd be flying away. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my god, there's some memories. And stompers, 4 by 4s and rough riders. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I had, um, it's like we were talking a while back about uh, Richard Tonka toys, and I had the crane. Now this fucker, I tell you what, I had this outside until I was about 18 and it was a rust thing. I used to have it next to my dad's house, it was like a shed, I used to go and play on top of the shed. So I used to get the old crane to come down as far as I can to like get some bits and pull up and all that. And this thing, as I say, when I went back to finding it, it was still yellow but it was mostly rust. But I loved that, I never had the big car. You know, the big car from the other where they just push it down and yeah, 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 trucks yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. dumper truck sort of thing and it yeah. just lasts forever. I picked up a Tonka car in a charity shop the other day. But oh my god, they're still going. When pick up, whoa, whoa, it's like plastic. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not what it used to be. I remember I actually had the Tonka did like a series of just like little tipper trucks and little yeah. cement mixers and stuff. They were yeah. only like eight big or something. Mm. And I, I pushed it down the stairs because it was a Tonka car. Yeah. And I saw it in the adverts, and I kind of got. I, they started to kind of really moan at me, yeah. um, for pushing it down the stairs, and then they were like, "It's the TV, blame the TV." You know? Yeah. So I didn't start getting told off, and it was like, you know, <laughs> well, it is what the advert says, but don't do it again, you know. Yeah. So like, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I used. To, I mean, I, I bought a lot of the little um, diecast cars as well. I mean, I got some back. I mean, when we did our one year, was it our one year anniversary episode? Was no, no, something like when no. Rowan, when we came Rowan. to Dover. Yeah. And we got the red trash. I've added a few more to it since then, but seeing that thing again, all the memories I used to have, I said my granddad bought me that. My granddad was the stingiest person on the entire planet. You know, if he had like, um, if he wanted just 5p to go to, oh, he's got 5p, even though he'd have a fucking jar full of change. Uh, but when he bought me this thing, it, the sentimental value to it was bringing yeah. the memory back. It was, was, it was so cool. And it's just so weird that such a skin flint would just do that. <laughs> even my dad was like, Really? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, mean, I, had, I had some recently when I went to the toy shop, which is Type 40 Toys. I mean, he had lots of the old die-cast cars. And he's even got the really old ones about that big, mm. where we've got like, the horse one and the metal door. The dinky ones. And the, yeah, the little yeah. metal wheels yeah. and stuff like that. But I, I still think that, I mean, even the, um, the plastic soldiers, me, uh, <laughs> me cowboys and Indians, you know, yeah, stuff yeah, that yeah, you know, yeah. just ain't really about anymore yeah, because yeah. of the way the world is. Yeah. And I had so many battles in the garden with the mud, and I'm sure some of them are still buried <laughs> in my back garden somewhere. And I had this big toy, but you know, I still even look for a picture and I can't find it. It was like, it's quite big, it was a decent mm. size. My parents got me this at the Folkestone uh, Market. Mm. We used to have a guy in the corner, you know, oh, toys, pit pack, toys, blah, 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 blah. and it's basically this big toy. Not ten pound, not nine pound, not eight pound. <laughs> I have seven pounds and I'm going to throw in this as well. <laughs> but that's not all. <laughs> if you buy that for another pound, I'll throw in the... Yeah. 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 And yeah, every... <coughs> oh, I used to love that. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I got this thing. It's like a half car and the top half's like a robot sat there, but it's holding the big gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put yeah, the yeah. battery in and it goes side Just side a generic side. thing, <laughs> what they did. Yeah. I never yeah. saw it in the shops. Yeah. And I sold it at the boot fair, but I got four pounds for that. Yeah. Um, the, the toys I actually got from that um, corner place, because you always had the 501 yeah. games console, yeah, yeah. 501 versions of mm. the same game, Pong. the same dot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I got the um, so, so, like, like the ones you used to fire and they used to do the mm. loops mm. and the tracks and stuff like that. There's all these like, plastic toys that you never actually saw in proper mm. toy shops. Mm. So when the number one toy thing I always wanted that I never got was the Batman set because you remember the Bat bike the Bat yeah, 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 yeah 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 I remember you yeah. said you had that I had that I yeah. never had that I wanted that one that was my number one thing on my Christmas mm. list and I never got it and I still can't buy it now I can't buy it now because it's too expensive mm. yeah but toys mm. I had lots of toys I always had a thing for like American police cars mm. like um, sort of Dukes of Hazard Roscoe yeah. Coltrane style yeah. American police cars and there was this dinky police set which come with like a helicopter and um, like a, a cruiser and a 4x4 four four and all this <laughs> stuff. And I wanted that for years. I never did get one. So, yeah. so 
I, I loved all that kind of like chase stuff, you know, from like the late seventies mm. and like you know. I do remember as well that I had this um, transporter set. The thing was huge, but it was all mm. plastic. Mm. It was up and down and all that. I always remember having these big cars that they were just one solid big bit of plastic with a little thing for it. And yeah, 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 yeah. And I think they were from the folks to work, but they were quite yeah, cheap as well. They were really cool because you could just literally fire these down the road and no matter what they did they bounce they get yeah, scraped yeah, yeah. and stuff like that they would just be solid yeah and once again don't know what happened to it but many hours of fun with that okay so we, we, we could talk for fucking hours yeah. about toys and more shit yeah um if you did enjoy this for you know it's a very different video for us yeah just talking shit about a specific subject <laughs> rather than lots of different subjects yeah. um, different subjects in a different subject but different ones toys transformers masks yes. Yes. Um, yeah, proper toys, Tonka toys. Uh, uh, Shut up, we're, we're, toys, we're finishing now. Yes. And so if you'd like to sort of see us talk shit what about this again. What toys did you have? Tell us your memories down there, guys. Yeah, if you'd like to see us talk shit like this again and yeah. stuff, mm. down there, please. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's uh, yeah, always good fun memories of the old toys. We had, we had a few nights, we watched the old adverts, and you kind of remember. I mean, it's like we were talking earlier. We've done toys, how about chocolate bars? I miss the Skipper bar. And I miss the Texan bar. And what chocolates do you miss? Take care, guys.